Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the real values of x and y that satisfy these two equations simultaneously. Now, to solve this problem, let us start with this first equation. You can see that here we have 3 over 2 to the power x minus y, while here we have 2 over 3 to the power x minus y. Of course, you immediately see that this is a reciprocal of this. So, if 3 over 2 to the power x minus y is equal to d, then of course you know that 2 over 3 to the power x minus y is going to be 1 over d. Now, rewriting this first equation in terms of d, we have this is now d minus this is now 1 over d. And of course, this is equal to 65 over 36. Now, let us multiply through this equation by 36 times d to get rid of these two fractions. So here we have times 36d. d times 36d is equal to 36d squared minus 1 over d times 36d. Of course, you know that d is going to cancel, leaving us with minus 36. And 65 over 36 multiplied by 36d. Of course, 36 is going to cancel, leaving us with 65d. Now, let us rearrange this quadratic equation. We have 36d squared minus 65d minus 36 is equal to 0. Now we can factorize this quadratic equation. Let us use the table method. The factors of 36d squared are 4d and 9d. And the factors of minus 36 are minus 9 and 4. Now let us multiply this by this. We have 4d times 4. Of course, this is 16d. And we have 9d times minus 9. This is going to give us minus 81d. Now, minus 81d plus 16d is going to give us minus 65d. So we have that the factors of this quadratic equation are 4d minus 9 and 9d plus 4. And of course, this is equal to 0. And you know that this simply means that either 4d minus 9 is equal to 0 or 9d plus 4 is equal to 0. When we add 9 to both sides of this equation, we have that 4d is equal to 9. And dividing both sides of this equation by 4, we have that d is equal to 9 over 4. Here, when we subtract 4 from both sides of this equation, we have that 9d is equal to minus 4. And dividing both sides of this equation by 9, we have that d is equal to minus 4 over 9. But of course, let us remember that 3 over 2 to the power x minus y is what we call d. So this simply means that either 3 over 2 to the power x minus y is equal to 9 over 4 or 3 over 2 to the power x minus y is equal to minus 4 over 9. But now let us look at this. We know that there, there are no real values of x and y that is going to give us this negative outcome. So this second equation is unacceptable. Now let us take a look at this equation. This equation can be written as 3 over 2 to the power x 
minus y is equal to, of course, we remember that 9 is 3 squared and 4 is 2 squared. And of course, since these two numbers have the same exponent, we can combine them like so. And now when we compare the two sides of this equation, we see that x minus y is equal to 2. Now that we are done with the first equation, let us go over to the second equation. From this equation, we have that x, y minus, here we have x, and here we have minus y is equal to 118. Note that when we take away this bracket, we have minus x and minus minus y, which of course is equal to plus y. But remember that from the first equation, this is what we have. So this simply means that x, y minus 2 is equal to 118. And of course, from here, we have that x, y is equal to 118 plus 2, which is equal to 120. So now we have that x, y is equal to 120. So now basically we have reduced this original system into these two simpler simultaneous equations. And of course, to solve these two equations, let us start with this one. From the first equation, we have that x is equal to 2 plus y. And now what we are going to do is to substitute 2 plus y for x in the second equation. When we do that, we have 2 plus y, which is x, multiplied by y. And this, of course, is equal to 120. Opening this bracket, we have 2 times y plus y times y, which is y squared, and this is equal to 120. Rearranging this quadratic equation, we have y squared plus 2y minus 120 is equal to 0. Once more, we can factorize this quadratic equation. All we have to do is to find the factors of minus 120 that add up to 2. And of course, this is going to be 12 and minus 10. Because we know that 12 times minus 10 is equal to minus 120, while 12 minus 10 is equal to 2. So when we factorize this equation, we have y plus 12 multiplied by y minus 10 is equal to 0. And of course, from here, we have that either y plus 12 is equal to 0 or y minus 10 is equal to 0. When we subtract 12 from both sides of this equation, we have that y is equal to minus 12. And when we add 10 to both sides of this equation, we have that y is equal to 10. And now that we have values for y, to find the values of x, we go over to this equation. From this equation, we have that x is equal to 120 over y. So we have that x, when y is equal to minus 12, is going to be 120 divided by minus 12, which of course is equal to minus 10. And when y is equal to 10, x is equal to 120 divided by 10, which of course is equal to 12. So we have that the two values of x and y that satisfy these two equations simultaneously are, here we have minus 10 and minus 12. And here we have 12 and 10. And with this, we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new.
If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.